Good morning students. Today we are going to study the next chapter that is civics. Democracy in the contemporary world. In this chapter we see how democracy has expanded during the last hundred years. More than half of the independent countries in the world today are democratic. The expansion of the democracies has not been smooth and straight. It has several ups and downs in different countries. It still remains an unstable and uncertain achievement. In this chapter, it begins with the stories of Chile and Poland making and unmaking of democracies in the world. In this chapter, we will also examine the making of some international organizations. Here we go. Democracy in Chile Chile is a country in South America. Salvador Allende was the founder, leader of the Socialist Party of Chile who won the presidential election in 1970. After being president, he adopted several policies to help poor and the workers which included reform of the educational system, free milk for children and redistribution of land to the landless farmers, opposing foreign companies that are taking away natural resources like copper from the country. But the policies were opposed by landlords, the rich and the church and also by some other political parties. His government was overthrown by the military on 11th September 1973. Military coup of 1973 on the morning of 11th September 1973, the military took over the seaport and arrested defense minister when he arrived at his office. The military commanders asked President Alande to resign but he refused to resign or leave the country. Then the military surrounded the president's house and started bombing it. President Alande died in the military attack. The military coup was led by General Augusto Pinochet, an army general. The government of the United States of America was unhappy with Alande's rule and is known to have supported and funded activities that led to the coup. Pinochet became the president of the country and ruled it for the next 17 years. From a democratic government, a military dictatorship was established in Chile. Pinochet's government tortured and killed several of those who supported Alande and those who wanted democracy to be restored. Restoration of Democracy Pinochet hold a referendum in 1988 as he felt confident that in this referendum the people would say yes to his continuing in power. But the people of Chile said no to Pinochet and his military dictatorship ended. Political freedom in Chile got restored. Slowly, the army's role in the country's government has been eliminated. The elected government that came to power ordered inquiries that showed that his government was not only very brutal but also very corrupt. In January 2006, Michelle Bachelet, daughter of General Albito, was elected president of Chile. In the presidential election, she defeated one of the Chile's richest men. What is the difference in the rules of Alande and Pinochet? Alande, he has taken many policies, decisions to help the poor and the workers, while Pinochet's government tortured and killed several thousand people. 
Alande came to power through election, while Pinochet came to power through conspiracy and coup. Alande did not permit foreign companies to take away the resources from Chile, while in Pinochet allowed USA to take away the resources because it helped him in military coup. Next we see Democracy in Poland. In 1980, Poland was ruled by the Polish United Workers Party, a communist party. In the country, no other political party was allowed to function. The people could not freely choose the leaders and those who spoke against the leaders or the party or the government were put in prison. The government in Poland was supported and controlled by the government of the Soviet Union USSR, a vast and powerful communist state. Strike of Lenin Shipyard Workers On 14 August 1980, the workers of Lenin Shipyard, owned by the government in the city of Gansak, went on a strike. The strike began with a demand to take back a crane operator, a women worker, who was unjustly dismissed from service. This strike was illegal because trade unions, independent of the ruling party, were not allowed in Poland. Thousands of solidarity members were put in prison. Freedom to organize, protest and express opinions were once again taken away. Solidarity criticized widespread corruption and mismanagement of Jerulewski's government. General Jerulewski imposed martial law and thousands of solidarity members were put in prison. Another wave of strike again organized by solidarity began in 1988. This time they demanded free election. Restoration of Democracy In 1988, Solidarity again organized the strikes. This time, the Polish government was weaker, the support from Soviet Union uncertain and the economy was in decline. In April 1989, another round of negotiations with Elsa resulted in an agreement for free elections. Solidarity contested all the 100 seats of the Senate and won 99 of them. In October 1990, Poland had its first presidential election in which more than one party could contest. Elsa was elected President of Poland. After 1980, democracy started spreading more quickly. The disintegration of the Soviet Union in 1991 accelerated this process. The Soviet Union comprised 15 republics which emerged as independent countries and most of them became democracies. Democracy was revived in several countries of Latin America. Pakistan and Bangladesh made a transition from army rule to democracy in 1990. However, changes were not permanent in Pakistan as in 1999, General Musharraf brought back army rule there. In Nepal, the king gave up many of his powers to become a constitutional monarch to be guided by elected leaders. In 2005, the new king of Nepal dismissed the elected government and took back political freedoms that people had won in the previous decade. Democracy in Contemporary World Democracy The classic definition of democracy says that it is the government for the people, of the people and by the people. In other words, democracy is a form of government in which people are allowed to choose their rulers. Following are the two important features of democracy. 
only elected leaders by people rule the country. People have freedom to express views, freedom to organize and freedom to protest. The changing map of democracy. The world map given here shows democratic governments from 1900 to 1950. The countries which are shaded in red had already become democracies before 1900. The countries shaded in yellow became democracies between 1900 to 1970. This world map shows democratic countries in 1975. Compared to the earlier map, the number of democratic countries has increased in this map. This was mainly because of the freedom of many countries from countries from colonialism, the end of colonialism resulted in the birth of many new nations during this period and many of them preferred for democratic rule. This world map shows democratic countries in 2000. It can be said that most of the countries became democratic by this period. Collapse of the Soviet Union in the 1990s and the subsequent collapse of communist regimes in Eastern Europe and many other parts of the world led to rise of democracies around the world. This map also shows that a major portion of Africa is yet to embrace democracy. Additionally, China and some Central Asian countries are the regions where democracy has not taken roots. Phases in the expansion of democracies The process of democratization began with the French Revolution in 1989. It took about 100 years of struggle for France and many other European countries to develop into proper democracies. The process of democratization of Britain began much earlier than in France. It was a comparatively peaceful process. By 2005, about 140 countries were holding multi-party elections higher than ever before. International Organizations There is no government of the world can pass any law that will apply to all the people of the world. But there are many institutions in the world that perform partially the functions of such a government. These organizations cannot command countries and citizens in a way a government can, but they do not make rules that put limits on what government can do. Various international organizations are the first one, United Nations, known as short form UN. It is political association of nations of the world to help cooperation in international law security, economic development, and social equity. The UN Secretary General is its Chief Administrative Officer. UN Security Council, it is an organ of the United Nations, is responsible for maintaining peace and security among countries. It can put together an international army and take action against the wrongdoer. Every one of the 193 member state as on 1st September 2012 of the United Nations has one vote in the UN General Assembly. General Assembly is like the parliament where all the discussions takes place. It meets in regular yearly sessions under a president elected from among the representatives of the member countries. But the General Assembly cannot take any decision about what action should be taken in a conflict between different countries. The 15-member Security Council of the United takes such a crucial decisions. The Council has five permanent members, US, Russia, UK, France and China. And 10 other members are elected by the General Assembly for two-year terms. The real power is with the five permanent members. Each permanent member has veto power. It means that the council cannot take a decision if any permanent member says no to that decision. 
This system has led more and more people and countries to protest and demand that the UN becomes more democratic. The permanent members, especially the US, contribute most of the money needed for the maintenance of the UN. International Monetary Fund is one of the biggest money lenders for any country in the world. Its 188 member states, as on 1st September 2012, do not have equal voting rights. The vote of each country is weighed by how much money it has contributed to the IMF. More than 52% of the voting power in the IMF is in the hands of only 10 countries. US, Japan, Germany, France, UK, China, Italy, Saudi Arabia, Canada and Russia. The remaining 178 countries have very little say in how this international organization take decisions. World Bank also has similar system of voting. The president of the World Bank has always been a citizen of the US conventionally nominated by the treasurer secretary finance minister of the u.s government democracy promotion iraq is a country in western asia which became independent from british rule in 1932 three decades later there were a series of coups by military officers since 1968 it was ruled by Arab Socialist Ba Party, whose leader Saddam Hussein uh, played a key role in the 1968 coup that brought the party to power. This government abolished traditional Islamic law and gave women the right to vote and several freedoms not granted in the other West Asian countries. After becoming the president of Iraq in 1979, Saddam ran a dictatorial government and suppressed any dissent or opposition to his rule. The US and its allies like Britain allege that Iraq possessed secret nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction which posed a big threat to the world. But when a UN team went to Iraq to search for such weapon, it did not find any. Still, the US and its allies invaded Iraq, occupied it and removed Saddam Hussein from power in 2003. The US installed an interim government of its preference. It is argued that it was important to end the dictatorial rule and set up a democratic government. Many powerful countries like the United States of America believe that democracy should be promoted in the world. Even by force, powerful countries have launched attacks on non-democratic countries. Iraq is the biggest example. 